Hey everyone, so now that Halloween is officially over and I no longer have to spend all my time on the Halloweeny stuff, I have a huge backlog of like other beauty bits to get through and finally start showing you because stuff has accumulated over the last month or two that I was putting on the long finger until Halloween was over. So I'm going to start off with a Max Factor product. I have a few other Max Factor bits that I'll show in another video because it would just take all day if I was to put it in one video. And I probably will be doing um, a separate like collective haul just to show you everything really quickly but do separate videos for anything I want to go into de in depth with. So this video is about this Max Factor foundation which was a standout product for me and I did originally film a video showing this along with the other Max Factor bits and sure it took all day, it was like a 20 something minute video because I just was so impressed with this, I spent a bit too much time on it so it needed its own video. This is the new whipped cream foundation by Max Factor. So when I heard whipped cream, my immediate thoughts went to mousse and a mousse foundation is not something that I would be very drawn to. I've never been a fan of mousse foundations. I've always found them to be a bit dry and cakey and I've never loved the texture. So I didn't have high hopes for this guy at all but I was very pleasantly surprised which is probably one of the reasons why I like it so much. So it comes in a pot like that and of course it's not a liquid or a cream. It's very solid in that it's not going to run on you. Perhaps after a long time it might move a wee bit but it is a very lightweight um, whipped cream foundation. One of the reasons I was so impressed with this is that Historically for me I've always found mousse foundations to be to be drying. Um, I always found them, you know, not to look very fresh or luminous or anything like that on my skin. But this is surprisingly hydrating. It goes on really, really lovely. It gives a demi matte finish. So demi matte, you know, it's not 100% matte, it still has a little bit of a natural sheen left to the skin. So they're calling it like a dimensional matte, really. And I love that. I hate the flat, flat mattes. I love that the more kind of um, modern, newer mattes that are coming out nowadays aren't totally flat because it just doesn't look nice on the skin. It doesn't give any kind of attractiveness to the skin, really, unless it's maybe a theatrical look or something you're after. So I'm just going to literally pop this on my skin now to give you a go or uh, to give you an idea of how it works and how I like to apply it and stuff. So my favourite kind of brush to apply it with would be something like this. It's just a short stumpy like buffing brush. This is the stippling brush by Real Techniques. And because this foundation doesn't have a sunblock in it, I did apply a sunblock um, or a sunblock moisturiser with a sunblock in it first because even at this time of the year it's something I'd still be very careful about. I've let the moisturiser sink in now so I can just go ahead and start applying this onto the skin. I only put a wee bit on the brush at a time. You really don't need a huge amount. You could just be all day blending it out if you put on too much too soon. And of course if I was using this in clients, if I had it in my kit, I would use a spatula to get some out onto a onto a palette. The colour that I was sent, and this is my colour throughout all of the Max Factor foundations, is the Light Ivory. I really like this colour because it's it's quite a neutral colour, so it would suit most people who are very, very pale in that um, it's not too pink or, or too yellow. It's the same colour I have in the Aegis Elixir one and in the 3-in-1 um, foundation as well, and it settles fine in. So this will lighten up my skin a little bit um, to match my neck, and that's what I always go for, rather than having, you know, a darker face and a floating head kind of look. So this is probably a very good match for an NC15 in the MAC foundations. I love this because it's quite hydrating without being shiny. I really like that. You can see it there on the skin. I still have a little bit of a lovely natural glow to the skin, but it isn't shiny by any means. So it's gonna be really good for anyone with kind of normal combination skin. If you are very, very oily, I think you could still get away with wearing it because it's oil free. I would just perhaps make sure you prep your skin accordingly. So make sure that you use an oil control lotion first and you know even maybe an oil control primer underneath but this particular foundation does con contain well, mattifying silicones in it but it also has water and glycerin at the top of the high or the ingredients list as well so it's going to be really hydrating because the glycerin will work um, to trap the moisture in on the skin and another good thing about having silicone in foundations is that it gives that really soft slip and soft feel to the skin um, and let's it go on lovely and smooth. That would do me now for a 
coverage wise for daytime I don't like to go too heavy for daytime and I really like that your skin still looks like your skin so you have that natural glow it has evened out my skin tone and you know brought everything down to match my neck I can still see my freckles I may be able to still see a few blemishes but I wouldn't rely on my foundation for that anyhow that's what concealers for and um, I did wear this the last day without powdering it for several hours and it was absolutely fine. So I'm really happy with how it set, sits on the skin in general. Now this is available at the moment. It is in the in the store at the moment and it, in Ireland it retails for 13, roughly 12 something or 13 euro. But I think that's quite a fair price considering it is such a lovely foundation. The shade range in Max Factor isn't the worst by any means, but it is... A typical kind of pharmacy drugstore shade range so it's not going to cover everyone's skin tone unfortunately but that's kind of just goes in hand in hand with pharmacy um foundations in general so i'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of a concealer around the eye area just to give you a better idea of how it looks i even if something is a little bit hydrating i will rarely put anything that has any kind of oil control or mattifying properties around the eye area just because i tend to get very dry there and I do need something quite hydrating or moisturising or even oil based. So that's why I don't rely on my foundation all the time for under the eye area. So if you're wondering about what skin types this would suit, I think it would pretty much suit all skin types. I don't think it is dewy enough by any means to be very, very oily or you know shiny looking on oily skin and it is oil free like I said you might just need to prep your skin accordingly underneath and then for people with very dry skin I think all you'd need to do is use quite a moisturizing or hydrating formula um, of a moisturizer underneath or even use a hydrating primer and you'd be absolutely fine to go with this so um, I hope this was helpful guys I will be doing another video on the rest of the Max Factor stuff now straight away and have this up after this and I'll chat to you soon I have loads more videos to get through so you'll be seeing me loads in the next month anyhow so long guys